Hello, Focaroonies. Today we are looking at the DAS keyboard. This is the S Professional model. It is probably the loudest keyboard you're ever likely to use in your lifetime. Um, the reason for this is that they are mechanical keys. They're designed to give you that ah, beautiful tactile response from your typing experience, which is exactly what you want, in my opinion. Let's have a go. And yes, that is how fast I type. Suck it! Now, you might be thinking, DAS keyboard. Well, okay, I guess this is a German product. Wrong. This is actually designed in Austin, Texas and manufactured in Taiwan or Thailand. I'd forget which. They're both the same to me. Uh, and so the experience of typing on this thing is really gorgeous. Now, you do get a silent model if for some reason you're buying a DAS keyboard and you want a silent keyboard. Um, you can get a silent model, but this is the uh, S Professional model. These also come in Mac versions, so they have obviously instead of a Windows key, you've got your Control, Alt and all that funny shit going on with Mac keyboards. Blah. And um, the other cool thing about this keyboard is that you have USBs on the side, which of course means that you're now plugging not one USB cable into a computer, but two. That is if you want to use these ports anyway. Now, the first thing you might be thinking when you take this out of the box is, wow, have I just spent $130 on a keyboard that looks this ordinary? Well, the answer is yes, you have. However, you're not paying for the design, you're paying for the response and the experience that these mechanical keys provide. Uh, typing on these is absolute bliss. They are beautifully recessed, the keys are nice and deep. So when you press a key, it's like absolutely yes, I've absolutely pressed that key. There is no denying it. That is pressed. Now, let's compare this typing experience to, let's say, an Apple keyboard. Uh-oh. Ta-da! Here we have the Bluetooth Apple keyboard with no numeric keypad. Thanks, Apple. Yes, so when we type on this, let's have a look. Let's have a look and a listen. Right, now let's compare that directly with the sound of the DAS keyboard. Now, obviously, with keys like this, they're a lot flatter. So the response is kind of, oh, I don't really know if I pressed that or not. Hmm, not really sure. In fact, one thing that really pisses me off about these Mac keyboards is that the caps lock key, sometimes when I press it, it doesn't illuminate. You see that? I have to press it. In fact, I have to press it quite hard. Arrgh. Yes, that is rather annoying. I don't know what the point of that is. I do like the wireless, and don't get me wrong, I like the finish. I love the al aluminium and the white, but that typing experience is just not favorable to me. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go with the DAS keyboard here. This is more of a keyboard that I would use if I need to do a quick little thing, a notepad or something. God help me if I'm going to blog on this, or indeed game. I certainly... Actually, yeah, still, with gaming, no, sorry. There's just no response there. It's not far off from pressing an iPad keyboard. I really just don't care for that. Sorry. Uh, all in all, if you're looking for what is quite possibly the best keyboard available aside from the old IBM mechanical keyboards, the DAS keyboard range, in my opinion, is probably it. The typing experience is a joy. You won't experience anything more tactile from a keyboard, certainly not in 2012 and beyond, because keyboards are getting all ugh, flat and icky and shitty for some reason. I don't know. Personally, I think the experience of pushing plastic is about as fun as cutting my fingers off. So, here you go. The DAS Keyboard S Professional, $130 in America and Australia. Uh, beautiful stuff. Definitely worth picking up if you're doing a lot of typing and numbers.